Oh. Oh. What was that? <laughs> that? That lady's gonna think she sent some old guy over the edge. <laughs> She's gonna be worried all day. I made this call to this guy and he, I sent him over the edge. <laughs> I, can, I, I love doing that to telemarketers that call up. I can guarantee you she's already forgotten about you. Ah! Josh! Welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's a Corbin. Mess with telemarketers. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to Patreon. Uh, Should account, subscribe to the like button. I always listen to what they have to say, though, because I was once a telemarketer, so that's a very difficult job. And if it's something, I had somebody call me from the fire department saying they were doing a fundraiser. I'm not going to mess around with them. But my favorite, my favorite is this. Hi, I'm calling about the home financing stuff we talked about earlier. Number one, you suck. Number two, we didn't talk earlier, you lying piece of crap. I don't answer the phone. For That's anyone. true. Don't call Corbin. Uh, today we have the, uh, I think the third part of the Prabhu Deva. Uh, Another? How many parts are there? <sighs> Fuck, I don't know. Wow. But this is with Michael Jackson's fall, Prabhu Deva's dream got crushed. Don't know what that means. Uh, My bet is his dream was to collaborate with Michael. Uh, what do they mean by Michael Jackson's fall? Um, either his literal death or the controversy that surrounded him. <laughs> All right, this will be interesting. <laughs> Rick doesn't have any strong opinions about any of this. None whatsoever. <laughs> Here we go. You slept with him, though. I have as a child. I have slept with Michael Jackson as a kid. Damn proud of it. <laughs> Not a joke. Here we go. Please click here on your screen. <laughs> One day I watched the, the thriller. <clears throat> I got that day changed. You and me both. Who is this guy? Something very unique style. Was that his introduction to Michael Jackson? It was a different kind of dancing style only. I mean, it's very possible. Song in that way, like that dance it has to be. No touching. Kajol! I did so much of dancing this, that, but finally... Kajol is the winner because the eyes made the song hmm. something else. Tracking milestones of an incredible journey spanning 30 years. Rahman Music Sheets. Hi friends. In this episode, how about a twist in the tale? It's there for you all. So do watch the episode till the end. Okay. And capture the moment of the day. All right. AVM, the iconic production house that launched mega stars like Sivaji Ganesan and Kamal Hassan decided to make Minsara Kanavu for its 50th anniversary celebration. Loosely based on 1965 American musical Sound of Music. Oh, wow. The film had music as its USB. So Rahman became an obvious choice for Minsara Kanavu. It's Kajol's debut film in Tamil. The film required Prabhudeva not only to act and dance, but also choreograph. Until then, Prabhu had avoided choreographing his own songs. See, choreographing is a different word. Acting is a different word. Why to take both? If some people are there to do, hmm. let them to like that. When you had to choreograph your own songs and you listen to the song, what was your reaction? For Minsar Kanava? Yes. Rajiv Minansar, the, the director of the movie, had a vision for each song. Of course, moment comes to me, what dancing, but, but some visual comes to me. I I follow that only. Whenever I listen to them, immediately visual come. When Rajiv Minansar told, the director told, this has to be like this, like this, like this. So I put my visual into that. In those times, because... In that picture only, I'm little bit acting little bit better. I was like doing little bit better, little more maturity. Like I was what 24, 23, 24, something like that that time also. But your choreography and your dance was so different. All credit goes to the director. Yeah, but you must have decided the dance style, its treatment and setup. No, director had a vision. 
like as you told it was a different kind of dancing style only thanks to the director only because that song only again he he, he recorded the song in that way like that dance it has to be no touching without touching we must do we must dance like that like that so i improvised that luckily mm. i got to know what he wants i understood what he wants and i uh, we did it it both gel that the choreographer and the director was gelling very well and of course cameraman main was tremendous work and kajols eyes I That's another so thing I've picked up. Days, that, but in addition to the head nod, I do that all the time now. I spent the song something else. Kajo, the icon. The film won four national awards. SP Bala Subramanian and KS Chitra as best playback singers. AR Rahman for music. <laughs> and Prabhu Deva for choreography. What does national award mean to an artist? What did it mean to you? <laughs> It's a mixture. So when I got the first national award, immediately I called my guru. Two, I had two gurus. One is Dharmraj Master. One is uh, Lakshmi. One is fire. One is ice. Dharmraj Master is very angry person. Very means you can't. You have to see it to believe it. Very angry. He doesn't put slipper red and red. He is very angry person, but very lovable person. He, is like that power like a fire only so i i call him master i got national award he told don't take it to the head do the other one <laughs> that's the first thing i said <laughs> <laughs> yeah i told him but in a in a good way he's telling don't take it to his head you did your work they gave it don't be in that go for next achieve next next he's telling then i called the other master would be like national master he's like a ice like i said oh very good he must mm-hmm. again work more hard see the difference between so that was uh, of course when they t- told uh, i was happy only mm. normal human being i was very happy but from that time to uh, i became okay <laughs> grounded ah oh, he's so beautiful prabhu deva earned name and fame for dances that were essentially western in style but right from his childhood he trained in bharatnatyam hmm. considered to be amongst the oldest classical dance forms of hmm. india i was uh, learning bharatnatyam from uh, my guru dharmraj master my bharatnatyam helped me like anything in my life for the timing for the discipline not only bharatnatyam helped me for the dancing for the punctuality discipline hard hmm. work everything it helped because my guru ji ah uh. when we was uh, training bharatanatyam how in the kung fu films they will train the people the jaki chananda like that they used to train us they used to make me under uh, the daramandi and sit for a while like that only sit only and he used to talk and he used to have tv and tea and all so i used to tell him sir master ji you forgot me to just make so <laughs> i didn't like you sit there regularly those things helped me and he used to come on time 5 o'clock means he'll be there five see those things punctuality hard work everything discipline everything helped me uh, of course for my life even for the choreographing uh, i have done many more uh, choreography without knowing my bharatanatyam touch will be there but nobody knows it hmm. and timing everything besides training in bharatanatyam something else too influenced prabhu thriller a studio album by michael jackson released in 1982 it topped charts across the globe and also changed prabhu forever those days there is no deck the deck comes no we used to rent it out and watch the film watch it so like that one day i watched the, the thriller it's supposed to be i got that day changed Who is this guy? Something very unique style. Something people are looking in the dark. I've never seen somebody who is dancing like that. I believe whole world uh, mm-hmm. got mesmerized by it. Yes. Uh, in that I am also one. So next day I used to grab that my mind was going on only when I used to Bharatanatyam suddenly I put a Michael Jackson on my my father my guru used to do No no must have one Michael Jackson stupid fellow whoever it is do this <laughs> <laughs> so, i used to do this 
parallelly i was uh, in my mind or in my body michael jackson dance was going on only mm. i was practicing in my mind only with that how did you practice in your room on beaches where ah it's not i'm saying in my mind whenever i do in front of i used to practice there but those days na the you know na the facilities of us at all nothing the music also where to get the music there was no cassette you want to get the, the thriller i don't know what's the name also that time thriller somebody name my what a, later later we came to know so we don't very rarely if some people goes to buy a tape recorder tape we so did it for an option vhs tape okay that will be for one day only na then we have to give back yeah yeah to rent it yeah. i'm telling the cassette recorder i don't know we were which song where to get so i was without sound only no whatever i see uh, i saw i was practicing that's it first november 1996 michael jackson visited india for his concert <coughs> history world tour it also meant an opportunity for prabhu deva to meet his idol varaksha sir only took me there so they told only three people or four people has to come so varaksha told uh, sir told you come and he didn't take his son also asha bhosle madam was there me mm. that's it and varaksha oh, wow. then i met him i shake him he had me i also had him. then photograph was also taken but taken by their photographer because our photographer nobody is allowed then each people will take one one photographer there also so they were telling we will take and we'll give it to you but never it came Oh. <laughs> See, it was like a dream, like a. It was like a dream. It's the ultimate for dancers, no? So when he was there nearby me, it was like. <laughs> you know, I can still feel that glint in your eye as you speak of Mr. Michael Jackson. Yeah, I am a great fan of Michael Jackson because it's not only the dance moment of Michael Jackson. It's something that power, attraction, something is there. Some magic was there. something it's not about the dancing or singing something is there that's the thing he is he is there is only one chaplin one bruce lee one michael jackson that's it acha 1999 ar rahman and prabhu were part of mj and friends two stadium concerts by michael jackson to raise funds for children in kosovo and africa not alone I am here with you Prabhu Deva's dream to perform with Michael Jackson was about to come true but there was a slip between the cup and the lip Me and Raju were performing there Bharatanatyam <laughs> yeah we were with Shona madam we were performing Bharatanatyam there and also all the big big people were the performing normally we in those days we will to see in the album my mtv with that how the stage show happen only it's full head full for it it was there like that we we perform like we were here he was performing here final performance was us or oh, michael jackson performance then last performance was us He was supposed to come in our act also. So when uh, Michael Jackson was performing, he had a small oh. injury. I can see what happened. That some lift, I think. He was supposed to come in the lift. Suddenly, it got jerked. Oh crap! Suddenly, after finishing, they took him out. Then we perform. That's it. Did you know about that? Nope. You didn't watch that live? No. Nope. Coming back to Ben Sarah Kandavu. Uh Mr. Rehman's compositions are always a challenge for singers. How challenging are they for choreographers? Uh you know they don't get even the complete song. They just get some kind of a shooting mix. So choreographing and dancing to those tunes. What kind of challenges did you face? Well, when when uh, that time also I used to give only Pallavi only BGM like that even i when i choreograph also i want full song 100 percentage song like even if you are putting tick tock ting tang also i want it because everything has to be shown in the of course i like to take everything from there because 
normally i choreograph i used to tell my other choreographers also so they are how you are different different are they like music they are truly totally giving that yes difference. we have to follow him that's it they don't give him the whole song follow the music and we'll do that that's why if you do you ting also catch the ting now for some reason he is giving some ting tang and all no like that like that when we used to do the song and again sir is to mix it like that but it was i used to feel like little bit are i have not given 100% because some music has missed i have missed it looks like of that, course no? like that <laughs> that was the challenge <laughs> and also the sound level is international the quality was of uh, rahman sir sound is international how to go to international we are a local people how much we can go only we can go that much brain only we have he is in international standard we are in, uh, that much we tried our best that's what i can i think whether we are made justify he must tell it <laughs> because he has given the song like that the sounding and the uh, Amazing song. Mr. Rahman keeps adding elements to a song till the time the film gets released. Can you give me any example where you felt that if you had got the complete final song, your choreography would also have been different? No, no, better it didn't give that much because this song only is this much. If he has given that much, what would be <laughs> better? Better he gave this much only. It's better. Good. <laughs> डांसिंग that's the thing he is he is there is only one chaplin one bruce lee one michael jackson do you agree that this indeed was the moment of the day sure. is your choice different whatever your mind says write it Why in the comment section below we will be waiting the moment of the day was the fact that he choreographs incomplete songs which is insanity i'm not a choreographer but that just sounds insane That's like, I mean, I guess it happens in auditions, so like people give you a scene from a film and they don't give you the full film usually. Or TV show obviously. Uh, but you're expected to do it. But then obviously this is like they hired him for this to do the film and they only give him part like it's it's absolutely It's insanity. as absurd to me. Absolutely insanity. As telling somebody who's choreographing ballet. So Here is 5 minutes of the 20 minute piece we're going to be doing. I'm sorry? Here's 5 minutes of the piece. And we're doing 20 minutes of dance. Yeah. I Absolutely insanity. Uh so did he say they performed him and AR performed still, but they were supposed to perform with Mike. Correct. They performed and Michael was supposed to join them at the end, but Michael got hurt. That would have been iconic. Yeah. That sucks. Poor guy. I mean, oh, that sucks. Also, who are you having follow up Michael Jackson? Well, <laughs> that's why he was going to be with them. Okay. That's why Michael was going to be doing it But with Michael them. Is, it was the I'd it was the finale. The headliner. It was the finale with Michael there so after I, his performance. Yeah. Like, he, to the own American audience, I believe. Yeah, did you did you see the 30th the special the 30 years of of entertainment Michael Jackson special that was done uh literally I think the day before 9/11. In fact, Michael was supposed to be in the towers Michael that did day. 9/11. Michael was supposed to be in the World Trade Center on 9/11 and overslept. Wow. But the 30th anniversary is him and his brothers, and then he has a ton of special guests. Usher comes out, Britney Spears comes out. It's it's a big big production with a lot of people that come out uh, um slash comes out from Guns N' Roses. Oh, I so I think this is what that was supposed to be like on an international mm, level. Okay. And of course Michael was supposed to be on stage with them and clearly Oh, that would have been iconic. How would you like to have been the guy running the lift that drops and hurts Michael Jackson? 
He's probably fired. Yeah, I didn't know that occurred. I didn't know that happened. How does that even happen? <laughs> <laughs> the amount of safety precautions that goes, especially when you're carrying precious cargo like Michael Jackson. Seriously. Oh, that's insane. Seriously. Anyways, uh, another great episode. Obviously, go check out and subscribe to O2 India. Yeah. Uh, they always, uh, every single one of these, and apparently they have another one. Uh, that's coming out. Uh, and maybe they have even one after that. I have no idea. Uh, but all of these have been really, really insightful and wonderful. Um, it's a treasure. Yeah. Anyways, let us know uh, what are the videos we can act to down below.